What is going on guys, Polak here, and welcome to another episode of Playing the Objective, a series where I help you guys conquer certain game modes on Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So for this episode, we're going to be talking about a game mode called Momentum, which is a uh, war from Call of Duty World at War. So if you guys have played Call of Duty World at War, you guys are familiar with how Momentum works. But for those who do not know how Momentum works, this video is going to teach, I'm going to teach you guys in this video how to conquer this game mode and how to easily win every game based off all the strategies that I'm going to share with you guys. So the objective of momentum is to capture as many flags possible. If you guys look at the top of my screen, there are two. There's a total of five flags. You have two blue, which are your flags, and two red, which are the opponent's flags. What you guys need to do is push through those flags, basically kind of like if you're pushing through their uh, defense. So you start off in the middle, and you have to capture the flag that people are supposed to be going for right there. And then when you, as you uh, capture one flag, you move up into their spawn, and then as you move up, you get to capture more flags. To win the game, you need to capture all fa five flags to win it seems really easy when you look at it but it really isn't because all the entire team should be going for the uh, flag in the first place if you have one of those teammates that don't play the objective and don't go for the flag then most likely you're not gonna win but if you do have t uh, actual friends playing on your team actually playing the objective this there's a lot of strategies you guys could use to uh, conquer this game mode First of all, the more people you have on the flag, the faster you capture the flag. So of course you guys really need to have as many people as possible on the flag. But I recommend you guys not have your whole team on the flag because most likely someone could easily just chuck a grenade at the flag and you could all die. So what I recommend for you guys to do is have at least one or two people uh, outside of the flag, at least covering it from a distance to help you guys uh, clear out all the people around it and about three or four people actually capturing the flag. And with this kind of strategy, it's easy to actually move up through the uh, flags and then you could get all five flags also most of you guys should equip at least one explosive weapon so a semtex a frag grenade or even just a stun grenade anything that you could easily chuck into the ca uh, into the flag area that'll really help because if there's uh, opponents on the flag you could easily take them out one by one just by throwing grenades and of course you need to surround the flag in order to actually capture it uh, back so you do not want your uh, the opponents to actually move up because the more they move up it makes it a lot harder for you so if they have at least uh, let's say if they have four flags captured so if say if the top of your my screen if there was the red flags there's four of them you have only one blue flag it, it's a lot harder than move, to move back up because if you actually capture one flag back but then they'll just capture it again it's gonna be a cycle and then eventually they'll actually capture the last flag that you uh, uh, guys only have so you guys really need to push up the with the flags as much as possible because if they push up first then you're not going to really win the game i also recommend using assault rifles for this game mode because, especially because uh the assault rifles in call of duty advanced warfare are really overpowered compared to the other uh, uh other classes especially submachine guns because submachine guns in my opinion i find them really bad in this game because they're only s like a really small amount of times that i actually take advantage with the smg but usually the smg is really bad and if you're versing someone with an assault rifle you're most likely not going to win the one-on-one -on -one gun fight that's why uh i'm surprised but my kd isn't all that amazing that it should be right now it's like a 1.3 which i find really bad in my books because I've been using some of the new guns, and I should just be sticking with the guns that I'm actually good with, like the BAL-27, because when I've been using uh, like other SMGs like the KF-5 um, and others, uh, other SMGs, I really haven't been doing good um, ratio-wise, so I recommend you guys using the assault rifle for this game mode. You could, of course, use an SMG in this game mode, but I recommend if you're going to use the SMG, I would definitely, of course, be the one going into the flag, where you have to be really careful, because you could also... Even if instead of an SMG, you could also use a shotgun, but I'm not a big fan of shotguns as well. But I recommend shotguns if you're gonna really push onto the flag really, really uh, much. Especially, of course, if the flag is in a really small area, then definitely you can use a shotgun. You could take advantage of that. One more thing I want to quickly say I always, for every game mode that I'm gonna explain on this uh, small series, always play with your friends. Because when you play with your friends, you're gonna communicate better, you're gonna, of course, play better as a team. And playing as a team together, it makes you win all the games. So always play with your friends. You could, if you're gonna play with public match, you know, you're gonna have to really try your best by yourself and all the teammates that are on your team to do really good. If not, then you're not gonna win. But I always recommend playing with uh, friends, uh, at least more than four people. Of course, a full team of six is even better. So I recommend you guys, of course, play with, playing with a full team. There you guys have it. Those are the strategies you need to win a game of momentum. So you guys could take those strategies into mind and it will really help you win a bunch of games on momentum. 
Especially if you want to get your KD up, get your win loss up, and all that. If you haven't yet, go please check out my channel, and there is another playing the objective video on the game mode Uplink. So for those who want to play uh, Uplink, especially since Uplink is actually a competitive game mode for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, you guys could check out how to win Uplink, and that's going to be in the description below, so you guys could check that out whenever you can. So that is going to be it for you guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to have so many more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare videos up. Uh, please share this video to your friends, and for those who maybe are struggling on Call of Duty Advanced Warfare at this because I'm even kind of struggling like in the beginning I wasn't doing all that amazing and now I'm kind of getting better but I feel like I am not up to my full potential yet but either way guys share this video up please smash the like button below and also subscribe if you haven't so thank you guys so much for watching and peace